You don't pay any attention, do you? Do you? I didn't think so. Look this way, okay? N no, not that way. Damn it, Bugsy! What's up, guys? It's. Ah, oh, damn it, Bugsy! <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Kaiba on the Renegade here. I'm back with more Pokemon Silver. Oh, yeah, I forgot to call you my Fluffinators. What's up, Fluffinators? So, um, this time we will be battling Bugsy, the gym leader here at the Azalea Town Gym. And, uh, if in case you can't tell from the name Bugsy, he specializes in bug Pokemon. I thought Bugsy was a girl for the longest time until I saw the anime. So Bugsy uses a Metapod. Uh, the anime episode for this was fucking awesome, by the way. If any of you haven't seen it. So the reason we're starting out with Weedle here is because um, Thundershock is a special attack uh, move while uh, Metapod knows Harden, which uh, brings up defense. So I want this battle to be quick, but he didn't actually use Harden anyway. There we are. Level 15. All right, Weedle. So now if I'm right, they have Kakuna. Yep. And Kakuna will be a little harder to take out. But I think we can do it. So come on, Weedle. Take out your evolution. I'm sorry, that's what you turn into. Oh yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a breeze. I swear to god, if you poison me. <laughs> So I'm actually going to see if I can make Weedle be a sweeper here, and see what we got. It's because his last Pokemon is a Scyther, which is Bug Flying, and I know it's Bug Flying. I love Scyther. So Fury Cutter is a Bug-type move that gets stronger every time it hits. Kind of like Rage, but you don't need to be hit in the process. Um, so the more times it hits repeatedly, the stronger it becomes. If I can get one more of these off, that would be awesome, but I know that Scyther's way faster than, uh, Sheep, or faster than Weedle is. So let's send out What's a Meme. Now, you guys might be wondering why I'm sending out What's a Meme? I'm doing that so I can have a free switch. Um, Basically, uh, a, a lot of people don't do it this way, and I really don't know why. I keep spare Pokemon in my party while trying to just level up the important ones. And uh, the reason I do that... Whew! That was close. And the reason I do that is so that I can... Oh, man. Is so that I can switch between my Pokemon quickly and still not take damage when I actually switch. So unfortunately, it looks like we're actually gonna lose this, which is shitty as hell, unless I can make him miss somehow. Uh, let's go for a Fury Attack. Come on, you gotta live. Damn it. Ah, uh, this isn't good. This'll be super effective against Leaf, but let's see what's, what, what we can do here. Flash, maybe? Oh, thank God. He stopped using Fury Cutter, so now it's going to be back down to its weaker state. So now we're done. Maybe he ran out. I don't know. So Thundershock. Aw, oh, yeah! We beat Scyther with Weedle. How many times have you heard that sentence? We beat Scyther with Weedle. <laughs> Ooh, Thunder Wave. What a good move. I would love to have Thunder Wave. Let's get rid of Growl for that. Growl lowers attack, but Thunder Wave instantly paralyzes. And it has a pretty high accuracy. Oh, Weedle's evolving! Awesome! So, congratulations! Weedle evolved into Flaffy! 
Yay! And now we got the Hive Badge from Bugsy. And the Hive Badge makes it so uh, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey us. We can use Cut Outside Battle. And he gives us... I believe it's Fury Cutter, which is such an awesome move. I wonder if anyone can actually learn Fury Cutter. I really shouldn't be doing this. I should be running to the Pokemon Center to get people healed up, but I just can't help myself. Uh, Ritz can learn it, which is actually pretty damn awesome. I might replace Rage with Fury Cutter. So we're gonna head to the Pokemon Center. I will see you guys right up here next to Kurt's sign. So be right back. Alright guys, I'm all healed up, so let's head out this way. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's see here. So, question marks has returned for a battle. His first Pokemon is one that I was interested in catching, which is Ghastly. Oh, I've got Weedle out front. Shit. Uh, this could be interesting. Thunder Wave. Now, the reason this could be interesting is because Lick is also a paralyzation move. So let's Thunder Shock it. And let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, shit. Hypnosis. So as you can see, we have a lot of bosses in a row in this game, and that's one of the things I absolutely love. Oh, that's confusion. Uh, I know we have an awakening. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and wake him up. And he shouldn't use hypnosis again this turn. Awesome. Oops. So let's thundershock it again. All right, that's awesome. So Weedle grew to level 17, and he's gonna use Bay Leaf, which is the evolved form of Chikorita. So I'm gonna keep Weedle out here because I really don't want to send out Ritz. So Reflect makes Special Defense go up if I'm right, even though it said Defense. So I'm gonna paralyze Bay Leaf right off and get some tackles going, because Thundershock won't be very effective against it. Oh god, that was a critical. That was sad. Ooh. Oh, that was a critical. Alright. Let's, uh... Ooh. This could be bad. Yeah, this is bad. Alright, so I'm gonna go for this free switch by switching out to what's a meme. And he's gonna kill what's a meme pretty quickly. That's kind of hilarious, actually. So, this is the great part of free switching, which means if they miss, then you can actually take that Pokemon's turn and heal up another one. But I have no idea why more people don't use free switches. I mean, it works great for story, not so much for competitive battling. So we're going to send out Sheep and see what we get here. So Reflect is gone, and I'm going to start using Poison Stain because I think that'll be super effective. Yeah. So let's see what we got. And Razor Me shouldn't bug him too much. Nope. I believe if they defeat one of your Pokémon, you actually get more experience out of it, too. I'm not sure on that one, but I think that's the case. Sorry, I'm just listening to the tunes here and thinking about the battle. Oh, come on! 
You should have had that, dude. Alright, so that's that. And Sheep has leveled up. And now he's gonna use Zoo back, so we are going to switch back to Weedle. So that's Thundershock here. And if I might, that should finish it off. Oh, so close. No biggie there. So really, Bayleaf is going to be our big opponent for a good while here, until we get either a fire type or a good flying type. We might get an ice move in the future, but that won't necessarily be the best thing ever. Alright, so... Uh, what do you want from me, Liz? Great. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and meet you guys back in a second. Alright, I'm back. So now we're gonna be headed into Azalea Forest. What do you gotta say? Okay, whatever. So up here, in Azalea Forest, we're gonna find this guy. afraid to go deeper into the forest and look for his Farfetch. So we're gonna take a look for him. Hi Farfetch. Qua. So if we wander around a little bit, we should be able to find a way to get Farfetch back over to him. I'm not sure if I should approach it from the top or from the right. From the top works. Awesome. Oh no, we got a wild one. It's a Weedle! You're not a Weedle! You're a Mareep. Get it right. Another Marie! It's really interested in being caught, apparently. <laughs> that always amused me. Haha, uh -huh, I have two badges. I wonder if there's any trainers who, like, started raising Pokemon and then went after badges and, like, went to the last badge first. One, and then just breezed through the rest with no problems. Alright, so we get HM01, which is cut. And since we have the Azalea Town badge, we can use it. So let's head right out this way, actually because there's something else I want in Azalea Town. So right over here, down where we entered this house before, this is the Cutter's house. And if we talk to the boss... Uh, maybe if we talk to this guy, I could be wrong. Ah, here we are! So he gave us the charcoal, which makes fire-type moves way stronger. Um, so I'm interested in having that, so yeah. I'm actually going to take a second and store some items, so be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and we are up here in Ilex Forest. I'm going to teach Cut to a Pokemon now, and we are going to get through here. So let's see what we got who can learn it. Uh, Leaf Butt is able to learn Cut, so we're going to teach it to him. 
So new to the Pokemon series in this game was you could walk up to a tree, say, hey, this tree wants to be cut, and let's cut it. Instead of having to actually walk up to it, open your menu, go to the Pokemon, and then select it. Which is actually really nice. So let's head over here, even though it's not the direction we're quite looking to go. We've got another Marie. And down here, we're going to meet a guy who will give us... Headbutt. TMO2. So we can use Headbutt to rattle trees and catch some Pokemons. So I'm actually going to uh, teach Headbutt to someone and see if I can't um, find a Pokemon I'm looking for. I don't even remember what Pokemon it is. Uh, what's a name? Can I write it? Okay, so I will be back shortly. Shortly? Shortly. Alright guys, sorry about the cut there. Um, I realized that the Pokemon I'm looking for is not actually a forest headbutt Pokemon, so um, I will be going to find uh, the Pokemon I'm looking for in the future, just not right now, unfortunately. It makes me sad. But uh, anyway, let's head through Ilex Forest a little farther and see where we end up. I like this. I think she has a Venomoth. Oh, no, it's a Butterfree. So, as you can see, there's some trainers here to battle. And it looks like we're in condition to take them. So let's go. Hi there! So he's got a Rattata, and it looks like this is going to be a speed up battle, so let's go! Ooh, Sandshrew. Switch back to Weedle here. And let's keep on rolling with Thundershock. Another Spear. Okay. So we've got another trainer right here. So he got his Pokemon back from the daycare, which is. I love this sprite for the Poke fans. They've got the little kid right next to them in a Pikachu outfit. It's so awesome. And he's got a Snubble. So I'm pretty sure Weedle can handle this. <laughs> My speed fell from the move, but I still went first anyway. That's kind of amusing. Let's battle this guy now. And there should be one more girl to our left, and I think someone up a little higher. Who's gonna Mankey? I love Mankey. Such a good Pokemon. Ooh, a Diglett. Yeah, we wanna switch. So let's send out Rix here. A Diglett would be a Pokemon I'd want on my team. However, I think I'm going to stick to all uh, Generation 2 Pokemon for this Let's Play if I can. I mean, I know I used, uh, or I know I have a Beedrill with me, but it's not going to be a part of my main team. So there's this girl. Oh, we got a wild Pokemon first. It's a Rattata. So actually, guys, it looks like we are out of time. So I'm going to see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Kaib on the Renegade. If you like this video, please consider... Or please leave a like. If you really like this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. 
Um, again, I'm Kaibo on the Renegade. I will see you guys next time where we battle this trainer and uh, head farther up this route to see what there is. So, yeah. See you then. Bye.